Well guys, it's the calm before the storm. Welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe, help me out. Anyway, it's December 18th, 2023. And before we go out for the drive, just check out some of the merch. Oh yeah, take a good look at that. Look closely. That bear is shaped with a bunch of the names of my favorite areas in this little beautiful town called Big Bear. So anyway, let's go get it. I'll tell you more about what's going on with the storm right now. Enjoy. See you guys. Okay. So yeah, guys, December 18th, 2018. This is technically the calm before the storm. I'm always excited to do these videos because it gives me something to really look forward to, which is the storms. So let's do this. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information from bensweather.com. I repeat, bensweather.com. He is our local meteorologist and uh, he focuses predominantly on this area and he does a really, really thorough, great in-depth job with what he does. He's the one that I trust big time. Big time, big time, big time. For the, for the graphics and another app that is, is accurate for me in this town is the Weather Channel app. It might not be that accurate elsewhere, but here it's always been very, 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 very accurate. And I use that when I'm looking at the uh, daily graphics and stuff like that. So that's what, uh, it's, it's just easier. Ben's has the daily graphics also. Um, but it's just hard to like click on one day at a time and then scroll through to the next day. So that's, that's the only reason why I'll sometimes use the weather channel app. But if you want the most up to date localized forecast that you can possibly get from anyone, anywhere, you want to go to bensweather.com. So he does the forecasting and the predictions and I do the driving around recording everything. So basically what Ben is saying is a series of Pacific storms will impact the region this week with showers developing as early as today, increasing in coverage and intensity Wednesday and Thursday as a stronger storm arrives. Low pressure a few hundred miles west of the Bay Area will move east today with clouds and winds on the increase. The system will drag moisture across the area with few showers possible. Snow level may be near 10,000 feet, you guys. So highs in the mid 50s with the southwest winds gusting to 15 to 20 miles per hour at times. Scattered light showers may continue tonight into Tuesday as subtropical moisture streams in off the Pacific. And I'll get you guys a little bit more of that info in just, just a second. So we just got through the first part. Um, it's the second series of these storms, which is going to be what could could give us our decent amount of snow. Okay. So rainfall amounts, at least initially, will, will remain light with generally a quarter to an inch on Tuesday, with more of a low, uh, with more on the lower coastal slopes. Another cutoff low will approach Southern California on Wednesday, driving a plume of deeper moisture into the region with rain likely through Thursday, lingering into Friday. A few thunderstorms are also possible, you guys. Highs will cool into the 40s with snow levels above 8,000 feet. As the cutoff low flows inland over the north, over northern Baja, fr uh, let's see, Friday, wraparound moisture will keep showers lingering into the weekend. The cooler air should also start to filter in, which could bring snow levels down by the weekend. Total rainfall amounts could total between uh, total of two to four inches are possible with several inches of snow also possible over the weekend. And uh, yeah, let's see here. We're gonna take this, uh, this little left here and do a side by swipe on the mountain here. Yeah, guys, Ben is extremely thorough. He really does a fantastic job, and he's been doing it for this area for, I think, over 30 years now. Pretty spectacular stuff. 
So just real quick, we're gonna pull into this, this little driveway and get a nice little look. Here we go, look at, look at that, that is awesome. That is awesome. So let me finish up here. All right, so the last part here. It says another week low could meander around the area through Christmas day, generating a few snow showers over the mountains, maybe a white Christmas. Details on this later in the week. And guys, if you have any plans on driving up to the mountains through the holidays, be prepared for winter weather conditions and always carry your tire chains. Always. I always, because I get so many questions about that. Always. Even if you're only coming up here once, a hundred dollar, maybe a hundred fifty dollar investment is definitely worth it no matter what. And you, and you can always have them in your car. So you might as well do that. So anyway, we're at Bear Mountain right now. Um, gosh, it's so freaking beautiful. I have my, my icon pass, which is the annual pass to go skiing and snowboarding at Altera Resorts. And Altera has a ton of resorts, but I'm probably only gonna hit up Bear Mountain, Snow Summit, and, and Snow Valley, which is fine. I don't need anything more than that. And with my job, I can't leave town. It's impossible. It really is. I don't have anyone to help me with my with my business anymore. The only person who I trusted enough to help moved off the mountain, which is a huge bummer. Look at how cool that is though. Look at That is so cool to see these people out here. It really is so cool. All these new skiers and snowboarders getting off on the bunny run right here. That is just so cool, guys. Look at that. Just awesome. All right, guys, let's make like Tom and Cruz. So according to my other very durable, reliable app, as I said, the Weather Channel app, once again, it works great in this area. That doesn't mean that it's gonna be re uh, reliable everywhere else because I know where I used to live, it was never reliable. But up here, it's been the most reliable of all the apps. Obviously, Ben is number one though, bensweather.com. But um, according to the Weather Channel app, it's showing like, Thursday we could get a few inches of snow and Friday we could get a few inches of snow and the, and the, the snow could linger into Saturday which is fantastic oh, that is my favorite ski resort you, guys I've skied all over Colorado I mean everything in Colorado a, a couple spots in Utah and I even got to ski Mount Alieska in Alaska, which was pretty darn awesome. But uh, because of all the nostalgia, my favorite joint up here is Bear Mountain. That's where I learned how to ski when I was 10 years old. It was awesome, it was awesome. such a beautiful day right now it is 11 a.m. on the dot temperature is 54 degrees as you can see right there my car needs a detail big time 
big time. My car is filthy. My goodness gracious, great ball of fire. So yeah, you guys, any of you guys coming up here in the next few days, um, even though a lot of the storm is predicted to be rain to start, and when the wraparound front, cold front comes through, then uh, that's when we'll start getting some, some decent snow, at least compared to what we've received this season. So it should be pretty decent. Um, I think it, it's gonna make everything look really beautiful. So I'm, I'm excited. Obviously, we're going to stay up to date on everything. Once we start seeing a decent snow squall come through, I'm going to do a live feed, maybe walking through the village or something like that. So I think that'll be pretty neat. Hope to see all of you there. Um, again, there's going to be a lot of videos and a lot of updates coming out from, uh, from when we get our first drop of moisture, probably late tonight, early tomorrow, um, all the way through midday Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, when you guys come up here during these storms, as, as I said earlier, and as Ben said, make sure you, you have, your, have your tire chains. It's not worth the risk, it's, it's really not. Have your tire chains, have blankets in the car, warm clothing. Um, bring enough uh, food to last you maybe a week. I think that would be a really bright idea. We're gonna cut through the neighborhood here. I've heard of many situations up here. Usually it's when we have decent snowfall where uh, it's taken AAA over 24 hours to get to people. And it's not like they're slacking. They have so much work when we get snow up here. So you need to be extra, extra cautious. Another huge bit of important information is make sure you fill up your gas tank, you guys, at the very bottom of the mountain. Of course, you can fill it up as soon as you get up to the, uh, the Running Springs area if you're taking Highway 330 to Highway 18. But why I don't suggest that is because everything up here is a ripoff. You'll be paying so much more money up here for everything, especially those gas stations in Running Springs. They, they, they just jack you. So fill up at the bottom of the mountain, um, just, to, just in case you do get stuck, you'll have plenty of heat, okay? I love you guys, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you guys to have a great time when you come up here. Okay, so we're turning on Elm Street now, and this is gonna hit the roundabout over here. friends so much okay so this is Moon Ridge Road again there's the Moon Ridge Road we're gonna take a quick little drive-by snow summit So I explain usually what the calm before the storm video is all about is uh, usually it's best after we've, we, we've already had decent snowfall throughout the season so I can show you guys what town looks like before the big snow and then what it looks like during and afterwards. And it's just so cool to see the major discrepancy in snow amounts throughout the storms. It's, it's, it's I don't know why, but it's, it makes me really happy. I love seeing it. Um, obviously when there's no snow on the ground it's it's still still gonna be great because you'll get to see this town and this drive without snow and then once we do the aftermath video after the storm it's just neat to see how much different this town looks because it it really does look like you're in a completely different town it's something else And this street we're on right now is called Evergreen. Evergreen has a lot of really amazing houses. It's one of my favorite streets up here because of the big beautiful houses here. Back there a little bit more, there's uh, some of my favorite houses. I didn't point them out this go around, but I do take this route a lot, so I will be pointing them out to you guys. I mean, on both sides, just beautiful homes.
So as I said, I think we're, we're, we're going to take a little sneak a peek at Summit. We're not going to pull into the parking lot. I... friend of mine gave me a parking pass and I don't know if it's actually going to be good for the season, but I need to ask them anyway. I'll do that on my own time. I'll do that on my own time. So a friend of mine got me the Icon Pass, which is crazy. Another new friend of mine who owns Get Boards Ski Rentals, he is hooking it up with a, a free set of skis for the season. And yeah, Go to Get Boards to get all your ski and snowboard rentals and all your equipment that you need to go skiing and snowboarding. They will take care of you, especially if you mention that I sent you. You'll get hooked up and they have all the best top of the line equipment, by far the best prices compared to the ski resorts like we're looking at right, right now. So um, make sure you go to Get Boards and you guys will be very, very, very thrilled. I can assure you that the nicest staff and again, great, great, great equipment. Um, right now, they're offering through through Christmas time. If you mention the channel and or bring in a can of food, they'll wax your skis and your snowboard for free. They'll do that whole job for free. So um, again, all you have to do is mention that you heard of them through the channel and they'll wax them up or bring in a can of food for the needy and they will help you out. Also, you can buy uh, lift tickets online at getboards.com. All the information for getboards is going to be in the in the description down down below in this video, you guys. So just uh, support our local smaller businesses. That's a, a a big time big time thing that I'm really into doing, which is helping the local smaller smaller businesses. Um, they work hard and they provide a beautiful service. Again, a very friendly atmosphere, awesome people. So anyway, we're gonna turn right here on this street called Brownie Lane. All right, here's 7-Eleven and we were just on Summit Boulevard, you guys. And we're coming up to one of the major satellite parking lots for snow summit it's called the brownie lot you can kind of see where there's a million cars right here it is so packed up here i'm assuming it's uh christmas break now because it is a weekday and it is packed as heck anyway guys get your buns up here Enjoy yourself. Come have a great time. We need you all to come up here. And uh, yeah, if you have the opportunity, come up here for the storm. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I used to come up here all the time, not even just to go skiing, but just for storms. Rent a cheap hotel room and hang out for the storm. And that's what I think you all should do. Anyway, I love you guys very much. Once again, it's December 18th, 2023. Stay safe out there. If you have any questions, let me know, but get ready for the storm. I will talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. Hook it up. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye.